Hi, my name's Alex and I'm from Sony Ericsson. In this clip I'm going to show you the new Sony Ericsson X10 and give you a guide around what the buttons are and how they work, along with the new home screen. So before I go into the detail of how the actual home screen works, first of all I'd like to show you the design of the handset. As you can see, it's following Sony Ericsson's human coverture design. Across the bottom here we have three main buttons. The one on the far left hand side is your main menu button. This will bring up the menu options available to you at any point in a game or application. The centre one is the return key, so if you're on a different part of the screen and you press this key it will take you back to the centre again. And then on the far right hand side we've got the return key for when you're in parts of the menu. You can then press this key to come back out and go back to the main menu screen. Going around the handset on this side we have the loudspeaker where the audio comes out. On the back of the handset we have the 8.1 megapixel camera and the photo flash. On this side we have the volume key up and down. This also acts as zoom in and zoom out whenever you're using the camera or video. And then at the bottom we've got a dedicated camera key to activate the camera and also to take the photograph. On the top of the device You'll notice that we have the power key and this also acts as the lock key as well. And then we have the USB port which is what you use to charge the device or connect up to a PC or laptop. And then finally we have a 3.5mm jack so you can either connect the Sony Ericsson headphones or any universal set of headphones to the device. So to turn the screen off, simply press the power key once and this will cut the display. To turn it back on again, press the power key again and then you have the option to unlock on the screen. This can be changed to left or right handed depending on your preference and then to unlock grab the arrow and drag it up towards the top of the screen. Once you've done this it will then open up the display and as you can see there are three parts to your home screen giving you the ability to add or remove any shortcuts or widgets to personalise your phone completely. From the any point in the screen you can grab at the top and drag down and this will bring up any notifications you have. This can be anything from what network you're on, the completion of a download or simply a text or an email has been received. On the bottom you have your applications menu. This is where it will list all of the applications and games and any part of the menu like settings or any of the basic elements like Moxie or Mail that you have on the device. To get rid of this, grab the top bar and drag it back down again. And then on the right hand screen we've also got some other shortcuts and widgets to different parts of the handset but these open parts allow for any addition of any other widgets or applications. To add an application or widget you can do this in a couple of different ways. For example you can press and hold on the vacant screen and it gives you the options to add shortcuts, widgets, folders or even change your wallpaper. Or the other option is press the menu key at any point and then select add. On here you'll see the same menu and from here you can select widgets and it will display the different types of widgets that are available on the handset. This is dependent on any games or applications you've already downloaded. If I then select Facebook you'll see that the widget then appears. Now the great thing about a widget is this is a live representation of the application so this will constantly update and change depending on any activity around the application. If we then go to another vacant area of the screen, if we want to add a shortcut to another program, again we can either hold and it will bring up all of the options for the shortcuts or widgets available again. From here you can either add a direct link to a contact, direct link to a message for example, or press on applications to get a list of all of the apps that you have available. Now if I want a shortcut to Google Goggles, then I click on here and then add the shortcut to an available spot on the home screen. To get rid of this, press and hold and drag it down until it goes red and then it will delete the shortcut in exactly the same way you can delete an application or a widget. On this side you'll see that the generic additions have already been put in place. This is a shortcut to things like turning on Wi-Fi, turning on Bluetooth, turning on the GPS, and making the handset silent, vibrate or on loud. And at the top we've got a shortcut to a Google search. 
Thanks very much for watching this clip on the new Sony Ericsson X10 and how the simple navigation of the buttons and the new home screen work. Look out for some more clips online.